Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and uh, competitive deathmatch finally has leaderboards. You can see I'm ranked 93 of, what, like 95 people total. Uh, not a lot of people have done their 50 games, and a lot of people, I I'd, I'd kind of think, don't even have that great of a win rate. Just get quaked on. He's like, I don't know, he's, he's the number one Doom. I think Zebra's commonly for to that, but he's up there. You know, if he's not the number one Doom, he's like the number two or three Doom. He's very, very good at the game. And uh, even he struggled to get into Diamond 5. You can see he placed Diamond 4, and by the end of 50 games, he actually went down a rank, because he, he's Diamond 5, he's one spot above me on the leaderboard. Uh, meanwhile, I placed Plat 1, and I had to win at 99% of my games to get to Diamond 5, which is one rank up. And I'm in the bottom 20% of Diamond 5. <laughs> After seeing that. You can see he's got straight up 100% win rate in every single character that it, that it seems he played. Maybe there's a character on here I don't see, and that's the one character he's a loss on, but... Yeah, winning all his games, he went he went down. Right, okay, so yeah, he has, he has five game loss. I have five games lost as well. So I guess that's that's the difference between me and what, whoever's up here. This guy's got 50 games played. He's a, he's a top 500, just Reaper only. Okay, well this guy's a... He must be really good, because he's he was Masters in Overwatch 1 in, in the Comp Death match. So yeah, he won all his games on Reaper. He got at least top four in all of them, it seems. So yeah, 50, 50 games won. I guess he kind of deserves it. He was actually Masters before. But if I just go to like... I don't know, some random guy. Let's go to like this guy. 100 games played. Right, so he clearly... I guess he's also very good at the game. These people are all like top 500 normal. Uh, but if I go to win percentage... It's just all hundreds. So that's what you have to do in order to be in the, the top of the top. You have to literally not lose a single game. All right. Yeah, this one's crazy. Iron Egg, he's pretty good, and he's like very high up there in open cube. He's relatively good at the main game as well. He's not as good as the people we just looked at, I guess, because he's a lower rank. Uh, but he plays this game a lot. But he hit, he won 100% of his games. I won 99% of mine, uh, and then I think I just showed off Get Quick done. But yeah, there's two theories, it's, uh, like like two things, two pieces of information I've gotten since this last video I've recorded on Comp Deathmatch. I just want to put this information out there. Uh, but you can see, right, here's the first comment. Uh, I don't I don't know, I guess you can't always just trust YouTube comments, but he basically said Diamond 1 is the top achievable rank. Uh, and if, you know, the leaderboard's up today, so we can actually kind of look here. And Diamond 1, yeah, it seems reasonable. There's only 9 people in the entire uh, North American region that have gone Diamond 1 or above. In EU, there's 3 people. And in Asia, there's 2. I like that, that's, yeah, so something's clearly, something's going on, you know, something's brewing. And there's only 50 people in the EU, I guess more people play Deathmatch in America. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the first thing. But the main thing I want to show off was this, uh, Safaro here, he's, uh, he's basically a Deathmatch specialist, he only plays Deathmatch. Right, I, I popped on uh, Twitch at some point to look for Deathmatch just footage, see what, what people were doing, see if anyone else had ranked up. And I end up on this guy's stream, and he has a very good theory, and he's right here, number 25, you can see, Zen only. Uh, kind of good for that one, and he pretty much only plays Deathmatch from what I know, yeah. Arcade, it's all Deathmatch. It's just, just all Deathmatch. All Zen as well. A thousand hours of Zen in Deathmatch, that's actually insane. Alright, he, he did do some comp at some point, but, like, barely. Now you can see he did, like, placements. Um... But you can see he's he's also he, winning all his games, uh, and yeah, I'd read his comment here, right? You can climb, uh, but the problem is that the lobbies are not balanced, and basically, you know, people that are like diamond or plat are getting put in lobbies with people that are like silver or gold, uh, and when you lose in any way to the people that are silver or gold, even if you place top four and it counts as a win. You actually lose SR because the difference in your uh, in your skill rating is so high that even when you win, you lose just because you got put in a low elo lobby. That even if you get second, like like he says here, if you get second to someone who's bronze, you're gonna lose SR, and that that seems to add up. I mean, he did climb to diamond three, so I trust his word. Right, he's winning all his games. He's he's the deathmatch specialist. One of the one of the few. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is an insane thing to look at right here. All right, and it's all ten win percentage of ninety. 
That's that's this guy's nuts. This guy's not not sane. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I I take his word on how this system works. I just wanted to kind of show up that you know first off the leaderboards are up, so now you can show up on them if you got your 50 games played. It's not 50 games one, I don't think. Uh, I mean, I guess I could check. Which is probably the best guy to check with, and you can't really because everyone's private profile these days. Let's start from bottom up. Uh, this guy. Uh, competitive deathmatch. I guess he probably is 51. Yeah, okay. So I guess it might, it might it could be 50 games won. Could just be that everyone that 50 games played on here has exactly 51. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's crazy. But you can see him. I think I'm the only life weaver on the leaderboards. No, there's this guy too. Okay. Respect to that. Respect to that. I just thought it'd be funny if life weaver showed up on the boards. There's a Sombra, a lot of, a lot of Echo, Reaper, Kree. There's some Zens, so he's he's clearly pretty solid. Right, the the kind of leaderboard here showcases just Reaper is is the best realistically. I'd say I, I kind of agree with that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you found this information useful, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.